Okay guys, I'm back with another video and we're going to I'm gonna be answering a question that people ask. Not me, but just people ask. Is the seven fifty GCX seven fifty worth it in twenty twenty two? So I have it right here. That's in a second. Okay. Okay, then. And we're booting up Windows, and I did a test bench to see how, like, so I used Fortnite because Fortnite is very, very good. Like, it's actually really good for testing. For FPS, we chose you what wanted to do that. Well, like, um, eSports games we usually get. No. See, Nvidia GTX 2B, like this is a used graphics card, although you probably, like, it is used, obviously, because it's from 2014, and yes, the 750 is from 2014, if you didn't know that. No, I want graphics. Oh, crap, wait, 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 no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I should fix that, never mind. might take a while, so, yeah, I don't know, okay, I'll be back when it's done, okay, it, it's, it's almost done, oh, and you probably can hear me better now, because the air conditioner is off now, <laughs> Almost there. No, no. You can't say that. I'm just kidding. Honestly, I, in my opinion, it is worth it, but if you want to see how it performs, is why I am filming this video, because I would just, if people would ask me, I would say yes, but the reason I'm making this video is to show you why it's worth it, why you should buy it, if you want to buy a graphics card and you don't have enough money to buy, uh, you know, like an RTX card or like a 1080 or 10 series card so you only have like 60 bucks for a graphics card you can buy that or you have more to buy a graphic card but you also want a good cpu and right you want to balance it out well you're going to need well you not need but you can buy a 750 and i got mine for 60 bucks right and i got my cpu it was also used for $25 on eBay. This is Canadian. So, 
Yeah, it's pretty good. So, see these are the benchmarks. This one, it says very poor, but it's not. You're not actually gonna get bad um, terms. In Fortnite, I had, it was on performance mode, all low except the view distance was on far, and I was getting 90 plus FPS. 90 to like the top it was getting was 120. And it was staying at that for a few seconds and then it'd go back to 90. And if you if you're in a big scene where there's a lot happening, it would go down into the 80s, but not very far into the 80s. So this is the CPU. Graphics card. Damn, that didn't do that. <laughs> I only have eight gigs of RAM, but that's fine. For 750, it's not gonna use more than eight gigs. Yeah, so Fortnite, let's click on. What? Okay. Uh, what? 1080, it says 40. Okay, yeah. So, that's pretty good though. So the 750 is definitely worth it, but I would recommend not spending over $70 on it. Find it for less than 70 because it, if you keep looking, you'll find something for less than $70. Yeah, so we're going to do more games tested on the 750, but right now we're just doing the benchmark, and I did tell you how much Fortnite gets, so we're not going to, we're not going to do Fortnite unless you want me to show you that. I don't personally play Fortnite, but it is a great benchmark for graphics cards. So, bye. I'll see you in another video.